and Judge Kavanaugh, that would be two Supreme Court uh, nominees that have made it if, if he is confirmed. But at the same time, this is happening before the election. Mr. Trump is very critical, obviously, of uh, Joe Donnelly. I think he called him Sleepy Joe. Sleepy Joe, Sleepy but that's nothing new. He, he that, has for some time. Yeah. That's right. And it's also, okay, it's one or the other, and he's trying to get both to happen. A vote for uh, Judge Kavanaugh and a vote for Mike Braun. Right. And in the process... Uh, attacking Joe Donnelly. Joe Donnelly is in, a, is in a tough spot because he's going to have to figure out, and my, my, my sense is he's probably going to watch what some of the other moderate Republicans are doing. Susan Collins, a senator from Maine, is up in the air about confirming. So if there's a full view on the fence, he'll have an interesting decision to make. I think more pressure will be put on him if certain Republicans back off. Um, if every Republican votes, um, you know, it, it, it remains to be seen, but he is in a tight spot, maybe almost a catch-22. But he's trying to appeal to a broader base, a broader base of folks that, that probably like the idea that he voted for the wall. And uh, he rarely, in rallies like this, he will attack certain elements. He often calls it a witch hunt, these uh, federal probes. But tonight, uh, publicly, he said, and there's been... A lot of analysis that he's going to fire Attorney General Jeff Sessions. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a matter of time. And he said he didn't specifically name Sessions, but he says if they don't do the job, the FBI and the Justice Department, he'll step in, mm -hmm. meaning the president will take some kind of action. Yes, I, I think he's at a point, you've seen his attorney, Rudy Giuliani, former mayor of New York, say, let's wrap this thing up. Let's wrap up this investigation. He's saying repeatedly there is no collusion. But I think he's, he's very concerned about, from the get-go, Jeff Sessions um, deciding to recuse himself. But he rewarded um, such a decision. He rewarded him with being attorney general because of his initial support in his campaign. But that proved to be fruitless. So I think he's wanted to fire him for a very long time. And the motorcade just uh, crossed Diamond Avenue on its way to Evansville Regional Airport, uh, where the president uh, will board and... Head back to uh, Washington and again. He he was he just came out on stage tonight. He was not formally introduced. And I was surprised by that. Yeah, that he wasn't that, formally introduced uh, by anyone. And uh, it was just over the loudspeaker. Yeah. Yeah, and he just walked up, and the crowd loved it. I mean, the I think it, it, he's such he's such a showman. Mm -hmm. And I will say that I think tonight he really brought it, and the crowd loved it, and he played to that crowd. I mean, he had things to really. Mm -hmm. They were cheering off the bat from. You know, talking about how he's not going to get ripped off by any other country. We're done with that. He talked about the you're fired. You're fired. Thing. They loved that. And, and, and he of tapped course, into that. And one of the things that may have helped him a lot with voters is the fact that he was such a proven commodity. He has mm -hmm. been a visible presence for 40 years. A lot of him, obviously, in the New York social scene when he was a, um, a real estate agent, a real estate entrepreneur and developer, but he also, when The Apprentice, really helped his name recognition. Absolutely. So, hey, I know this guy. That's certainly And he knows how to it. use that in front of a crowd. Use it. Exactly. Absolutely. And yeah. he definitely played to this uh, Evansville crowd tonight, mm -hmm. 11,000 people at Ford Center. We're going to take a break, and we'll be right back.